WYTX, CBS 19 News, 10 at 10 at HD starts now. Continuing now in the middle of nonstop news, Bibles in the classroom. For years, they've only been in private schools, but not anymore. That's coming up in 30 seconds, but we're going to check in first. New on 10 at 10, Bible classes are growing in White House and across the state. But the class these students are lining up to take is in public schools. CBS 19's Jennifer Heathcock sat through a class today. She joins us now. Jennifer, this is not like Sunday school. They're actually looking at how the Bible is affecting our culture. Well, that's right, Jillian. These students are looking at the stories in the Bible much beyond Adam and Eve. They're using textbooks like this to learn about Cain and Abel to see how it applies to everyday life. Why would they have thought that way? The seasons, yeah, the stars, every, everything you see outside, right? These students at White House High School are reviewing for a history test. The first verse, 1 1. In the beginning, heavens and the earth. On the Bible. I've been to church my whole life, so I know, you know, a lot of the, you know, most of the stories about the Bible and stuff, but I kind of wanted to see it from, you know, from an academic standpoint. It's literally looking at the Bible from a social studies perspective and its impact. On Western Civ. John Keeling leads students through stories on Adam and Eve. Who are the kids? Cain and Abel. While emphasizing its effects on American culture. When you like look at it at like an academic perspective, per se, uh, all kinds of things just start jumping out at you that you didn't really notice before. And the class is an elective. I really am interested in the Bible. I'd like to grow up and be a youth pastor, so I thought it'd be very helpful. And if you're a Muslim, it's Ishmael, right? Reaching out to all religions. So where we get our modern words for spelling. On all levels. You kind of have to be literate in the Bible to be literate in what goes on in the world because people use it as references so many times, so you kind of have to understand it. To gain a higher understanding of the Testament by the end of the day. Usually I have to shut it down at the end of the day and kick them out the door because the topics are interesting, you know, and, and as a teacher, you can't ask for much more than that. Now, Keeling says they're having to turn students away from the Bible course, and he says he'd like to add a second class. And, Jillian, they're also turning students away from the other two elective history classes they have. One is the American History of Sports, and the American History of mm. Film is the other. Interesting. And this is the actual book that they use here. Are other mm -hmm. classes in East Texas, other schools using this? Well, I'm told other schools do use a biblically-based program, but they do not use this particular accredited program. All right. Interesting. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Now, these classes are allowed by law, in case you're wondering, because they're not devotional. More than 100 schools in Texas are now using the same text as White House High School, and it can be found in 43 states.